Chicago was always in my life, even though I grew up in the suburbs. And uh, we'd take the, the bus or the train down, and I went to the Art Institute for summer school. I came from Seattle. And Chicago to me was just always a very big metropolis, very exciting. My goal was uh, to be a creative artist, but I ended up doing portraiture. So that's what I found myself doing since then. We were both there wanting to be very serious students, and everyone we met in the division was looking for someone to get married to. And we, gra well, this is the truth, we gravitated towards each other because we were both serious and not interested in that. And we became best friends, and here you are. Look at that. It was destiny, that's what I say. <laughs> applause, applause. Like all the cultural things, the Art Institute was really the prime. That was prime for me. Each year, he received the top award. And he's probably too humble to say that, but I'm very proud of that. And so then, in his senior year, the culmination was he got the fellowship. They put you in a room for about seven, seven weeks, I think. And you're supposed to come up with, uh, at the end of that, with uh, some works of art, generally figure drawings, and uh, at least one painting. I did that. And uh, there were eight prizes, and I won the second one. And I remember that $3,000 was very special for me. So I graduated, I got married, we had to set up ourselves. And then I got uh, a surprise. I got a, a, a letter from Europe, from uh, Monaco. And it was from the palace. And it was uh, the lady in waiting, a Princess Grace in Monaco. And that led me to, to going over there and doing the portrait. And actually, when I went over there, I went equipped with the fellowship money that I had, $3,000. So I went along. Yeah. And I was a married man then. So we lived there for five and a half. It was six, almost six months. No, almost really. six months. And we lived pretty good with that $3,000. It greatly enlarged his experiences, and mine for that matter, uh, on the European scene. The Chicago Vicinity Art Competition was originally sponsored by the Municipal Art League of Chicago, which was made up of practicing artists as well as just art lovers. They needed more directors. They asked me, and I accepted. I suggested to them, to the board, that we do something different than we had done before, to select every year somebody in Chicagoland, somebody who was worthy of, a, of an award. I, I talked them into giving the money to, to uh, the Art Institute to perpetuate that same thing that they had done before that inspired me and that we passed it on as a Municipal Art League of Chicago award. I think of what you've received and, and think how you can give back. There's more than one way to give back. Participating or actual monetary gifts or there's just a whole array of things that you can do to give back. But it's a way of saying thank you.